This thing's cheap. I'm not here to sell you the nicest truck in the world. I'm here to sell you one of the cheapest in the world. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And this is the nighttime or evening time video to where you can see the paint and how shiny it is and any dings and damages in a different light. It kind of hits a lot different at different times. And I want to make sure I'm being upfront about exactly what I'm giving you here. And what I'm giving you here is a project truck, a mechanic special, and a neat one. Um, but somebody's going to have to do something to it. That's just what they're going to have to do. And I'll show you the runnability, and I will show you the majorish, the majorish, the majorest problem that I've found on it, and etc. I'm going to show you the interior right now, but I like to get a couple walk-arounds to where you can really see what you're looking at. Now, I don't think I showed you under the hood, so I'll do that as well. And that's the truck, man. Okay, so here we go. Down in to show you the innards, and I'll pop the hood and show you the outer innards also 122 on the ticker dash is in good shape great shape actually headliner is in great shape and actually the seats are too except for this little spot right here okay on the side of the piping there clean it's a clean truck and i know that probably annoy you at some point huh but that's the deal the door panels is missing a speaker and it's kind of fraying up on the edges like these old Toyota um, door panels get. And I'm going to show you inside on this one. It's about the same shape, except this one has a speaker. You got a nice deck in it. Is it Kenwood? Yeah, Kenwood. And it's a manual. And that's that. Now this one I want to show you. You got to really kind of push it up because it's a little loose. But dash looks great. Original factory tire tools and stuff in it, and that seat belt's kind of wonky. Um, needs a new return spring or what have you. Clean truck. Clean. <laughs> Excuse me. Clean truck. It's not clean interior. It is. It really, really is a clean interior. Um, I showed you all the dings during the day, and this here. Hang on now. It's hard to do with one hand. Okay, there you go. 22R-E, baby. One of the most popular little Toyota things you could ever get. And I'll tell you what, you could clean these fenders up if you wanted to. Just scrape right off. You really make it look nice under there. But I'm not into doing that. I'm into selling a project car, project truck. That's what this is. It's a project. Mechanic special. But that's the under the hood. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Give you a quick sound of it and feel of it. All right, so here we are in the truck and give you a nice start of it. It sounds good at first. There's all this down. But then you can hear the tickety tick 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 of something ticking. The tickety tick tick of something ticking. Yes, sir, Reebok. And so with that in mind, I'm not going to drive it real far. I'm going to go to the next um, little exit here, though, and show you that where you can at least get a idea of how it's running out on the road. But I'm not going to run it too far because it's not, I don't want to hurt it any more than it is. You know, something's just not right about it. it runs good, but I think it's got a little bit something wrong with it. So whoever the mechanically inclined one is, that's what you should be doing. Now, I'm not going to push it no harder than that, get it more RPMs than that. In fact, I'm going to be getting off the road right here. I'm going to shift to forward just to where we're running at lower RPMs. We don't need that thing clicking any more than it needs to be. That's for dang sure. So, here we go. We're going to turn around right here and put on the frontage. I, these things do drive rather nice. A little four-cylinder manual Toyota is like driving a little four-wheel drive golf cart. Um, the brake light comes on, and that's about all I'm willing to do there. I'm not going to go any more than that. I'm not going to go any farther than that. I'm just going to idle down the road now, back on home. So that's the deal, oneownercarguy.com. And I don't know if this is a one or a two, but whoever had it, 
didn't exactly take care of everything the way it should have or something happened along the way and now there's a issue with it but the best thing about this is we can go off road yay what do you think Lily kind of like a roller coaster huh and that's the deal so that's your truck it it does it it goes but you got some tickety tickety up there and I don't think a tickety tickety is what you want to want to eat. I'm gonna put it right here and just, you know, I'm gonna have to put it right here because I don't wanna block my mom in. And there you go. Wait a minute, here, let me restart this thing. Hi. You hear that little surge? I just heard that. And it, it does that sometimes. I don't know. You got a couple. You got a couple things to work on with it. You got. You're buying yourself a job. That's what you're doing. You're buying yourself a light job. Um, that's the deal. That's the truck. We'll show you one more thing on it. Um, man, it sure is red. Right here is the worst thing that I know of, besides the motor on this truck. It's right here. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it? Hang on. I can't find it. Right there. See that frame rail? It's rotted out just a bit. Let's go up to the side. Right there. Got that in there. Somebody needs to weld a plate or something on it to where it's all good. That's your truck. There's my laughing chickens from Laughing Cock Farms. Like it on Facebook. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is the exterior video of this 1994 Toyota. Toy Minota, little single cab, four wheel drive, manual pickup truck. It's got about 122,000 miles on it. Um, I think it was a one or a two owner. I don't have the Carfax in front of me or whatever, but um, I don't even know if I've still got a copy of it. You can look one up or whatever. I'm not selling this as a beautiful, awesome truck. I'm selling this as a mechanic special type of a, you gotta do something to it to make it kind of worthwhile. I'm gonna show you the outside here and then I'm gonna go around show you the inside um, and I'll show you the outside again when the sun's down to where you can see it two ways um, show you under the hood then too it's not really a straight truck it's not really a rust free truck and it's not really the best running thing on the planet because it's got a couple issues here and there um, and I'm gonna go over all those issues in this video I like to get a good video of it in the Sun and in the sunset to where you can see down the sides like over the hood it's pretty straight I think it's had the hood and the driver's fender replaced at some point. Um, this one's a little more faded. There's dings like right there. There's a ding there. And there's corrosion in this here area. Um, scratches, big dent here. Um, wheel wells and everything look good. Um, but I've got, I sprayed some stuff on the plastic to where it, it is shinier, but it's just, it's just a cheap old truck that someone could have to fix up and I think it's I love an old manual like this they're a cool little truck uh, rear bumper got a big dent in it uh, tailgates got some issues going on I mean like I say this ain't the straightest truck in town and I'm not saying it is but it's for sale and it's for sale cheap cheap truck and more corrosion there it gets underneath them fender moldings and different things and then you got a definite problem but that's the deal I'm gonna go out and take a picture and video of the other truck I'll be back okay well that's the video that's the truck that's the deal Nathan 406-546-8748 this thing's cheap I'm not here to say the nicest truck in the world I'm here to say one of the cheapest in the world and that's what we got here for you today or tonight as you can see beautiful day in the valley call me and buy this or buy this GL or buy the green Ford, or buy my military cuck V, or I just did one of the power strokes. I got all kinds of stuff. Oneownercarguy.com, buy this Toyota, or buy something else.